Good morning, friends. It is Friday morning and we are all ready to go to London. We're all wrapped up warm. The weather looks miserable out there. Um, so we have to go now really early. I have to take my car in to have its MOT done. I haven't yet told them that uh, I won't be back to collect it till after the weekend. I'm hoping that'll be okay. And I'm hoping it doesn't need a shed load of work doing on it because, you know, Christmas. Anyway, uh, we are gonna set off now. We're getting the train down after we've dropped the car off. Um, may have to stop for a cheeky Costa on the way to the train and uh, I'll catch up with you all later. Car is successfully deposited at the MOT centre. So now we walk through town and we caffeinate. our hotel um, it's really really nice we've stayed here before actually when we came down I think it was earlier this year um, and we stayed at this hotel and was so impressed with it it's just a travel lodge but it's um, it's really really central for loads of stuff and it's really reasonable price wise so you know there's my plug uh, travel lodge bank that's the place to stay it's really really good also the staff here are so amazing. Oh my God, I just looked at myself. Wow. I look like I've been traveling. I look terrible. Uh, yeah, the staff here are so awesome. That literally, the girl on the desk has just like foisted so many like sachets of hot chocolate onto us. Um, she's like, take them all, take them all, take them home with you. We've got too many. So I'm like, yeah. 
so we are just going to chill out for a couple of hours um, and then we are off to meet my mother. Uh, we are going for a carvery and I literally can't wait. Um, so yeah, just going to chill, drink lots of hot chocolate. There's Kit Kats in the room as well. So we're going to eat those and, uh, and then we're going to head out and head out and have a carvery and it's going to be really nice. Tomorrow morning, I am super excited because um, we are going to head over to the Mina Lima shop. Mina Lima are the designers of all the graphic design for the Harry Potter series. So all the books, all the scrolls, all the potion bottles, uh, everything, literally everything, all the Weasleys, Wizarding Weasleys stuff, everything is designed by them and they have a shop in Soho um, and I've been once before when they had a an exhibition on but I'm so excited to go again um, so we're going to go and do that tomorrow uh, morning sort of lunchtime uh, and then at uh, about two o'clock I think it is half past two we are going to the matinee of Book of Mormon which I'm really excited about because the child has been playing me stuff from it and it is very very funny the child didn't warn me that there are actually songs in it which are shocking. Um, I didn't get that memo, but anyway, we're going to see it. Um, and then tomorrow evening we are going to see Les Mis again. Oh my God, I can't tell you how excited we are. We've been literally singing it non-stop for days. So I'm going to get going, eat my Kit Kat, drink my hot chocolate, and I'll catch up with you all later. <laughs> Saturday morning and we are caffeinating we're in Costa um, up near Tottenham Court Road and we are planning for our day we're still trying to fully decide what we're going to do today um, we've got uh, we're gonna go to the house of Mina Lima later that I was talking about uh, earlier on but they don't open till 12 so I think we're gonna go to game uh, because I think we want to pick up um, some bits and bobs for the switch um, and then the child is still sort of deciding what they want to do. I have suggested possibly Hamleys um, and I'd quite like to go down to Covent Garden because I expect it's really really pretty at this time of year um, but we are still kind of deciding. The matinee that we're seeing this afternoon is at uh, starts at half past two so we really need to be there for two o'clock so we've not got like all the time in the world but we've got a few hours to kill so we're just gonna have a little think see what we want to do uh, we might we could go to um, Forbidden Planet or somewhere like that but anyway we shall see in the meantime I'm gonna go away and eat my breakfast and have my coffee and uh, I will catch up with everyone later
yet another little Costa break. We've uh, been wandering rather a lot. Lots of vintage shops, which has been really cool. We went to Mina Lima. It was rammed with people um, and I didn't buy anything. I'm kind of disappointed about, but never mind. Um, so yeah, we did go to Forbidden Planet and I have bought a Gilderoy Lockhart Funko Pop. Very pleased. Uh, the child has literally not parted with any money so far. Mind you, everything that they've seen um, has been really expensive. Well, that was rude. Someone just rang me in the middle of my video. Um, as I was saying, uh, the child has not parted with any money at all because everything they have seen has been super expensive, really. Um, we did go in a skate shop which was selling some pretty awesome skateboards and lots of vans and stuff um, and they did see a skateboard they really liked but the issue being A, it was double the amount of money they actually had to spend um, and kindly mama, even if I had chipped in, it's really not ideal to be carrying a skateboard around uh, streets of London for hours and taking it into a West End show, two West End shows. We are setting off in about... 10 minutes to walk to the matinee of Book of Mormon so that's uh, pretty cool very excited about that and then we've got a couple of hours to kill after that finishes before lane is so <coughs> I'm gonna finish my iced coffee because you know I like to mix things up a little bit and um, then we're gonna take a little wander I'm excited musical down one to go and Book of Mormon was amazing so funny and so offensive <laughs> and I absolutely loved it and I'm just in awe of the cast I don't think I've ever seen a musical and I've seen quite a few musicals I don't think I've ever seen a musical with so many costume changes so many really fast costume changes and so much high energy dance routines by like the entire cast and just incredible performances so well worth seeing um, and uh, like I say absolutely hilarious um, I think my favorite character was Jesus um, with his light up costume I'm not gonna say any more than that Right guys, we are just uh, killing some time um, using the power in Cafe Nero to charge phones and in about five minutes we are sitting off for the second musical of the day, Limis. We are too excited. It's just, it's been an awesome day so far. <laughs> How good my view is literally oh look how big my double chin is literally that's the stage right there <laughs> so excited
hotel and that was like a roller coaster of emotion. Uh, I managed to hold it together until Valjean's death. Spoiler alert. I managed to hold it together till then and then I cried. Um, it was amazing. I've seen Les Mis a few times and I've got to say in all honesty I think that was probably the best cast I have ever seen. I don't know if I can say that in all honesty actually because I saw it in about 1986 or 7 and it was the original cast so we it was Colm Wilkinson, Michael Ball, um, you know the whole shebang, Philip Quast um, and of course I think you know they are the originals and they are like probably kind of never going to be beaten but this cast oh my god the Valjean was very 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 close to being as good as Colm Wilkinson he was absolutely incredible the Eponine was outstanding is the only way I can put it um all of them. The child is very excited because uh, the guy playing Enjolras, who was uh, Sam Edwards, Sam Edwards, um, they're like totally in love with him. Um, <laughs> so we went actually, as soon as it was finished, we shot around the back of the building, got to the stage door. Surprisingly, few people there. And we managed to catch uh, the guy who plays uh, generally plays Grand Air, but he's been uh, understudying for Tenardier, so he played Tenardier tonight. What's his name? Raymond mm. something, Raymond something. Um, so we caught him, he was adorable. Uh, we caught Sam Edwards as he came out, we caught the guy that played Marius, and we caught the Valjean as well. And they were all absolutely lovely. They all signed the child's um, autograph book because um, they'd drawn... Um, like a pencil drawing of the logo which is uh young cosette and they all signed it and they were all just absolutely lovely and it was well i just there's no words there's no words to describe how good it was really one of the best casts i've ever seen to a man just absolutely outstanding um so yeah we are now back at the hotel. Um, we are just chilling out. We've had a very long day. We've not been back all day. We've literally been out all day shopping, seeing shows, and it's been very successful. And I am now going to go and possibly make myself a cup of tea and just relax. And we've got an early start tomorrow to get our train back. So night night, everyone. I'll see you all in the morning. <laughs> The next station is Smallgate. Change here for Birkong, Hammersmith and City and Metropolitan Lines and National Rail Services.